Hello, I'm Rebecca from Rose and Grace, creating art from my boat on the River Weaver in Cheshire. And this is episode two of The Creative Crew. Nice to meet you. I've got more than this, but this is just the stuff that I've printed off as extras to try and keep. They're, um, they're, they're amazing, they're aren't much they? Much better in real life. Yeah. Like, actually, that was my first one. Yeah, that's for my friends. They've got a boat down at... Um, Acton Bridge, yeah. And so I'd done a few houses, and then she said, "Oh, would you try and do us on a boat as like a wedding?" Because they got married at Anderton. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll give it a go. And after that one, I did this one. Now that's a friend, and then it just went from there, really. Yeah. I love the um, the effect. So th this is done on an iPad. Then. Yeah. And then is this procreate. Yeah. Printed. Wow. Yeah. I started off like that one hasn't got any shading at all. No. And I don't really like that anymore. My most recent one... Is that one? Yeah, is that one. And I think I prefer that because I've, I like, I've sort of putting highlights on depth, and a bit of the shading, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. Like a bit of texture be. on the fenders <laughs> and stuff on the roof and... They're really That perfect. one I think is a bit boring now. <laughs> so, alright, I was going to ask you when you started doing it <laughs> then. No, that's um, their wedding day, so this was an anniversary gift. Uh. <laughs> So how long have you been doing that? It might only be a year, you know. Wow. What else is? Possibly. You've done a lot then since then. I think, that, I think that was the first one I saw. Mm -mm. I just, yeah. I don't know how you do the, uh, the type. Oh, that's just on Photoshop. Oh, you, sorry, you mean the back cabin? Yeah. Or just really easy. It might be easy for you, Rebecca. You've got Procreate though, haven't you? Oh, God. Yeah. yeah we'll so... Just... Well, that's why it was... Um, I mean, this is very interesting because that's yeah. all we're doing at the minute. Yeah. Procreate. Yeah. Um, Digital. So it's it's like so handy, isn't it? And it's amazing so it's how cheap. For small the... space. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's like. Yeah. So with the sign writing, generally, I just find a reference photo, get it roughly the right size. You can then tweak it around with the distort function a little bit. Cause sometimes people take the pictures really side on, or really angled. Distort it a little bit, get it the right. And then generally, I think I use technical pen and I just trace over it. Oh, wow. It's just such an awesome bit of kit, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, I'm constantly learning new things that it can do. Yeah. Especially all the YouTube videos. There's and... a massive bit of kit though as well, isn't it? There's like yeah. like Photoshop and Illustrator. Yeah. There's a million ways to do one thing. Yeah. <laughs> you Photoshop trained? Yes. So you you're Well coming... not trained, but yeah, I started off you started taking off pictures. Photoshop. Yep. Um ten well, oh, how old am I now? Thirty. Twenty like fifteen years ago probably started off taking pictures editing them in Photoshop or just like manipulating stuff and then I did professional photography for um, a few years but then with having the kids and the boatyard actually that's got to take priority and I can't if Matt's doing blacking on a Saturday I need to be here looking after the kids I can't go off shooting a wedding yeah, yeah. so then just started doing this because it's something that I could pick up and put yeah. down again and much easier so do you still do the photography then as well? Yeah, bits and bobs. Um, I did a newborn photo shoot last week for someone in Manchester. That was lovely. And then I designed some thank you cards as well. Oh, I've seen that. I just love the texture. I just love the way that different paper feels and oh, nice. So do you prefer doing this now then? Because it fits into you. I don't know. Lifestyle more, would you? I really don't know. Um, as opposed to photography. I think so. There's a lot of pressure with photography to get it right. Especially yeah. wedding photography. You're 
mess it up and yeah, you know, you've that's got the one end. Shot. Yeah. Yeah, sure, yeah. Um with this I like that I can do something, send it to a customer. If they don't quite like the colour or the shape or something, I can tweak it and send it back. Um yeah, I'll just like that bespoke sort of personality about it. Yeah. Nothing goes to print until it's absolutely right. Um but yeah. in the same way it's got to have character, so I don't want to make it too perfect, especially the like the houses, I kind of sketch those a little bit quicker and they're a little bit more rough and ready. But the boats, I try and get the shape quite accurate. So it's a bit of both, really. So what came first then? Was it the houses or the wedding? Wedding stationery came first. Right. Um, and that was a follow on from the from photography. From the photography, yeah, because yeah, I liked yeah, the photography, but I couldn't do that when got other family commitments so then I started doing the stationery and then no one got married in Covid so then I started drawing people's <laughs> houses and boats really so it's all yeah but I've got about 10 commissions sort of constantly on the go wow. with the boats and the houses um yeah I've got eight eight boats to do this month two houses and then about next month I'll probably have more houses and then fewer boats and wow. yeah yeah, I'm very impressed because you are very prolific mm -hmm. and you're obviously a very busy person. <laughs> so what does your sort of day-to-day -day routine look like? How do you fit it all in? <laughs> That's a very good question. Um, That's been... And with a puppy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I generally, I draw a lot in the evenings when the kids are in bed. Um, they're both at school and preschool now, so I can do a lot in the day, but I try and do boat yardy stuff as well. A bit of blacking here and there. Um, so how many hours a day do you spend sort of doing art, would you say? Question. Um, <laughs> until the battery runs out on this. <laughs> I think that's, that's the key. Right, put it down, do something else. <laughs> Wait for the charge. Yeah, yeah. Go yeah, and do some admin or something. <laughs> But each, like each boat print, let's find, trying to find out how long some of them take. Ah, with the hours, um, yeah. Oh, 11 hours, 54 minutes on wow. that boat. Good lord. <laughs> with 5,767 different strokes made. It's ace, yeah. isn't it, having that information? Yeah. Yeah, because yeah, then you can show that to a customer and go, hang on. Come on, don't take the mic. Yeah, I've yeah. done a lot of work yeah. on this. At, at least ten pound an hour. It's yeah. gonna cost you a lot more than I quote. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's true though, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. It's true. Mm. Drawing something, you never really capture that time, do you? No. And having the iPad is just like that's yeah. exactly how. Oh, I'm Ashby. Taking, you know. He's like, sorry, I do not want to be put in this game. <laughs> what are you doing? I know you're not, filming. Not, I'm gonna make... So would you say then Procreate is like your favourite medium now then? Yeah, I think so. I used to prefer Photoshop, but now generally I only go into Photoshop to add my text in at the end and just zoom in. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> All right. Outtakes. <laughs> live, live on a phone. <laughs> so... Are you did, have you always drawn or created? Um, I've always been creative. Yeah. Um, yes, yeah, so I've been photographing for years. I actually did theatre studies at uni, um, right. and I think I was always good at the visual elements. Um, I remember our first year uh, show. I was basically just the photographer for it. Um, the lecturer had cottoned on that I liked taking pictures. I don't think. I wasn't acting as a photographer. I was literally just photographing the thing for her. And she was like, oh, you, right. you could pretend to be a photographer. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, but that's, that's what I do. So she just used me as a way to get photos of the show that she'd helped devise. But um, but my dad, was a he's a retired boat builder. So I've always had the eye for how boats uh, look in uh, particular and getting the, the shape and, and the angles right. Canal art. Yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> So do you use sort of YouTube for procreate sort of lessons? And I just work it out myself, to be I'll honest. Just go for it. Yeah, I, the same way. I, I never really did YouTube with Photoshop. I just played and played and played and worked out what worked. Um, I watch like Instagram reels, but they're only what thirty seconds long, aren't they? But yeah. actually, you can get quite a bit of info from them. Yeah, um, especially the tip ones. Yeah, they're, they're really good just for the quick tips, aren't yeah. they? Yeah. You're like, oh shit, I mean, you could do that. Yeah. I just, I just practice. I just make mistakes, undo it, do something else, and just 
yeah keep trying different yeah. things really so do you ever suffer with like creative block yeah all the time yeah <laughs> do you yeah because you've got i mean that's quite a heavy workload isn't it yeah eight ten commissions yeah and i think if you if you look at something too much you know without fresh eyes you don't see it like, i've got a customer at the moment who i'm doing a house print for and she came back to me and she said, oh, can you just make the windows look a little bit more like my house? I'm like, well, what does she mean by that? You know, I've got the photo of her house and like, it looks like a house. It looks like <laughs> windows. Like, what do you want? And then she said, well, the middle panels are bigger than the outside panels on all of the windows. I'm like, yes, they are. How have I not noticed that? And now she said it, I can see it. But, oh, you know, right. if you're spending like 11 hours drawing something, you get so stuck into like the drawing of it that you actually forget to look back at what you're meant to be sort yeah, of copying yeah, yeah. um yeah so when the battery dies i'd take that as my <laughs> yeah have a break <laughs> do something else come back to yeah. that. relax a bit <laughs> so do you print everything yourself no i use um external printers um i used, started using um bollington print shop um, oh, yeah. there's a lovely lady called vicky who runs that um yeah it's nicer as well then you've got that sort of more personal yeah haven't you? And then yeah. if you don't like something, you can you can say. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're not dealing with a multi, yeah. you know, massive yeah, company. Yeah, Actually, they yeah. do care about what, the what they're printing. So what, is there anything you'd like to be doing that you're not doing currently? I keep Do thinking it'd be time? nice to print stuff myself, but you've seen the size of my office. I don't really have size for a, a proper printer. Um, I need to get my website up and running. And just crack on with social media, I think, and keep pushing it. You're, yeah, you're yeah. smashing that, though, aren't you? Yeah, you're smashing some, that. Some days I forget, though, and I'm like... <laughs> you are really good. You don't feel really guilty. Like, I've done one post this week. <laughs> <laughs> just nailing it. <laughs> yeah, especially your stories. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Yeah, no, you are very, very good. good with the GoPro. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, I liked your, your tour to Abda as well the other day. That yeah. was really good. Yeah. So is that mainly where you're getting your work from? From where? Word of mouth and... Oh, from, yeah. Instagram. Yeah. And I occasionally put stuff on, like, Canal Marketplace and some of the other Facebook groups that allow you to advertise. Um, yeah, it's just word of mouth, really. Like, this person led to that person, and then they've got a friend who lived on a Dutch barge, so did one for them, and then they've got a... Mora across the canal who wants one and then someone's seen that picture and yeah, yeah, yeah you've got a there. real niche there haven't you i it's hope so <laughs> yeah. yeah there's nobody else doing it is there there's there's people doing it but actual painting rather than digital and i couldn't do that at all no i really like this effect because i think it's dead modern mm. but also really quite classy yeah yeah they look they look nice especially when they're framed as well i've started getting them professionally framed and they're just it, finishes it off lovely yeah 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 so have you always had boating in your life then obviously with your dad yeah so have you were you living in a house before yeah we were in a house before we took the island on and we'd been wintering here with our narrow boat at the time um i just enjoyed it so much and like the weekends we'd come down to the boat have a barbecue have a laugh it was lovely and then we'd end up staying till the monday and then Matt yeah. would drive to work, he works in crew, he'd drive to there from the Monday and then we'd end up going back to the house for like three days and then coming back to the boat on a Friday and like right. you know, spending more time on the boat than we are in the house. Um, and then the opportunity to take the island on, that came up. So we took a risk and got this boat to live on because the site was quite derelict. Um, so we said we need to be you know, close on hand to sort of do everything up and then got the lease three years ago. Wow. Floating traders. Mm. Have you ever thought of doing that? We don't move enough. Mm. Yeah. We've got to have Town Bridge swung if we move this boat. Um, oh, right. Yeah, it's just the time. No, I don't think... I, I like other floating traders and I support them, but no, I haven't got the time. <laughs> no. And to be fair, I mean, you've got enough place avenues to sell mm. your work haven't you if i did more generic stuff like less commissions and more other stuff that people would sell um then possibly yeah but it's quite specific yeah, yeah. so which is your favorite piece of work 
Oh, oh I'll be fair. Mm. Which is your favourite boat, and which is your favourite house, and which is your favourite oh, stationery? Oh, ah. <laughs> well, this is only a small sample of the boats I've done. I've got loads of others that I can't even remember. Probably BT. BT boat. Mm. Oh, this one, beautiful. Love the roses wow. on it, the sign writing. BT's Big very boat. unique. <laughs> She's had the cabin on her, I can't remember since when, but she's been in the same family for about 40 years, possibly more. Oh, wow. um, and so the four cabin on her, it looks, it looks weird, but it's not, it goes sort of, ver not vertical, horizontal. And it gets smaller towards the front of the boat. Oh, right. And so do the windows. Each window is slightly smaller at the front. So that's that was quite beautiful. tricky to get that looking right. But I think that's my favourite. And then they've got a tyre as the front fender, which I love. So I think that's my favourite boat. That one we had came professionally as well. Favourite house. This one I did for my mum's cousin. We live in an old hot kiln. Oh. So I just love the shape of that. And that's one that I really... I didn't rush it, but I did it very sketch-like. I did, you know, the lines... Yes. They're a bit wonky. The windows are a bit wonky. It's not trying to be perfect. It's in, yeah, and, and keep, I think that suited the, the yeah. So that's it's, probably my favourite house. I've not really seen that sort of architecture before. No. Beautiful. And then wedding stationery. Let me get my bigger easy, and I buy the right to use like watercolour splotches. But uh, getting more confident in doing actual painting yeah. and then to uh, yeah, scan yeah, yeah. that in. Look at the uh, yeah the map. The map. <laughs> That one, again, that's my watercolour. So that's, that's a couple nice. who's getting married on the Lynn Peninsula. So ah, I was like, of course, I yes. will paint the Lynn Peninsula for you in a very abstract sort of oh, cool. watercolour-y blob way. <laughs> <laughs> so it's not too term. obvious to the guests, but yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah, probably about three will get it. Yeah. Oh, oh that's where you're getting married. Great. So let's talk wax, uh, wax seals. <gasps> wax seals. Oh, I love them. <laughs> So I noticed you start using it recently. Oh, I love so, it. Yeah. I need to get one with my logo on, really. I've only got about eight of the actual seals. They're quite expensive to buy, but oh, I just love making. Yeah, follow a lady in, in Brighton does mm -hmm. prints and fabric, and then she wax seals all the bottom of her prints, oh. which look pretty oh, awesome right. as well as like a. Yeah, if it's. I've got a feather. Feathers. No. I've got a feather which sort of ties in with my logo. Oh, really? yeah. um, so if it's a commission, I'll do a stamp on it. Uh, that's that a commission I did. I like that. That's a commission I did for the NHS mm -hmm. or in Newcastle. You've got a really nice style. You? Again, that was the quicker I did it, the more characterful it looked rather than trying to make it too perfect. Yeah, very illustrative. Yeah, and loose. Yes. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. I, I really struggle doing loose, and that's what I'm trying to do at the mm. minute, because I'm really controlled. Yeah. And then, but when I do something loose and a bit quicker, I'm like, oh, that looks ace. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> just, yeah. Just I think just go with it. Because you're doing it on digital, it's so easy to undo things. So you get uh, into yeah, that habit, never... don't you, of... So it's got to be like perfect that, yeah. and actually if you just got a pen and a piece of paper and did it that way you kind of got to roll with your mistakes a little bit more yeah yeah and then suffer it like, yeah. yeah but then it'll it'll Have you actually no. gone to draw it on paper and then done the yes all the time all the time, <laughs> all the time. <laughs> so funny. zoom in oh it's and not working it's so disappointing when it doesn't work <laughs> <laughs> He's so done a lot of stationery. Yeah, though. I need to get I need to get them all photographed and put on a website somewhere. Yeah, they're all bespoke at the moment, but I'd like to offer people the chance to look at someone else's and go, well, I like that, but could you just tweak the colours? Could you just tweak the font colour or the you know? Yeah. So do you keep, do you keep colour. everything as a digital file? Yeah. So you would be able to yeah. do that quite. Yeah. In different mm. colourways. Yeah. Stuff. I did have a belly band as well. I just like the contrast of the colours on that one that I did. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. Like Invite Matt 
details. Yeah, the map's oh. at Ace. Can you just look at the map? But again, you know, this was two years ago that I did this. I haven't painted that. I just bought the copyright to use that. But now I feel more confident you, that I that would be, be able, able to, to produce your own. Yeah. yeah. Slightly obsessed with teal at the minute. Yeah. I think they're pretty, isn't they? Yeah. Teal mad. Yeah, these maps look fab. Thank you. Well, I'm. <laughs> You're going to do them. I'm doing another map. It's a separate thing. I've just. I think so. Yeah. seen a map on your iPad actually that you're <laughs> obviously doing quite recently. Yeah, so yeah, I'm trying to do something that will sell a bit more generically that I can then maybe order 20 prints of and see how they sell. So I'm doing a map of Cheshire. Yeah. Just different places that people can go to. Oh. But I'm trying to pick where to. Which where bits to, you like. Yeah. 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 <laughs> and to boat lifts are yeah. definite, isn't it? You know, there's so much you can do. Free places, outdoor places. Dog friendly places, kid friendly places. Each one could have its own map, but that would just take me forever. So, with this one, I've gone go for to the hot spots. Outdoor. That snobbery. Sort of, yeah. But I started off doing that, doing an A to Z of Northwich. Uh, and then I thought, actually, what can I find for Q that's in Northwich? What can I find for Z in Northwich? So then I thought, let's open it out to Cheshire yeah. and it not being A to Z actually I really like maps so I'll just do it as a map instead but that's Budworth Mere, that's Delamere, that's Pickmere, that was Vickers Way Park, that's the White Gateway but I couldn't think of anything for like Z's and Q's so <laughs> that's why I then put it into a map instead. So when did you get your iPad then? When did your life change? <laughs> <laughs> that's a good question. Um, I bought it without the husband knowing. Like, I, I need this. I need this to, you know. Yeah. All oh, right. Do you? Okay. <laughs> well, I can do admin on it, can't I? And take it around with me. Okay. Yeah. 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 But when you lose yeah, the just... pencil down the back of the sofa, <laughs> oh my word! <gasps> I nearly went out and well, bought another changes. one the other day because I had a commission that I needed to finish and I couldn't find the pencil anywhere. Oh wow! Right, right. Oh gosh, I'll just go and buy the next one. I've got to get it done. I've got it, and then I found it. Where was it? It wasn't down the sofa in the end. <laughs> Can't remember where it was. It was the last place I looked, anyway. So as it's quite worrying having a uh, copy on board. Yeah, <laughs> I've seen quite a few pencil? chewed ones on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, from yeah. what you know to what your possibility mm. is. Especially with Procreate as well for. I don't, is it £8.99 or something? The price that the app is. Yeah, I think it's 12 And that's it. You haven't got to pay a subscription or anything. And Yeah, compared to like Photoshop yeah, or something. Yeah. It's unbelievable. Mm. I did that as well. I thought that could be a print that would sell. I got yeah. a bag of coals and some brass and, that's and a mat. Eight. And I showed it to someone and they were like, oh, I don't really don't really get it. I'm like, oh, yeah, it's rubbish. I don't like it oh, anymore. No, really. <laughs> no, it isn't. No, I get, I get what you... It's like the kitchen posters that yeah. you get, with, you know. That's kind of what I was going and, for. Yeah, I see the... It's got a little BWB key, Fanti Van key. That worked brilliant as, like, greeting cards. Yeah. I can't remember who didn't like it, but they're not <laughs> getting one in their Christmas stocking, are they? <laughs> oh, got a gin bottle there as well. Oh, yeah. I'm being nosy now. Uh, I wonder if the actual one's upstairs. That's from the wedding plan. Okay. That might have been 2018. I don't like these bottles at all anymore. Well, In what way? I think when, you know, bottles don't have sharp corners like that. Like, where's the reflection? Where's the... Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it's illustrations, they work great. Yeah. yeah. They love the, the bloom bottles, they're gorgeous, aren't yeah. they? But I think these were the first things that I drew on Procreate, I think. Wow. Good Lord. So did you draw before then, before you got Procreate and or not? No, not really. I was into like paper craft and... So you've got like... really good drawing skill considering. Oh, yeah, I don't know where I've got that from. So <laughs> what other things then get you excited? Everything. Oh really? Yeah. I. It annoys Matt, but I'm just into everything. I see something, I'm like, oh, I want to try that, I want to do that. Um, play saxophone and clarinet i haven't played in a band in a few years but i'd love to um reading if i had more time for reading i would do i've got a paddle board out there that i bought for my 30th yeah. that i've used like twice like i just i see something i'm like yeah i gotta try that 
that's that's cool. Oh, that sounds very similar to Sylvia. <laughs> yeah. Matt's like, <laughs> Matt's like, what's this week's hobby then? What are you doing now? Oh, no. is something wrong with having lots of hobbies? So, who do you have any artists that you're like not users reference, but you no. know, inspire you? Um, is there anyone in particular, or you just everything is mine and I will use it? Uh, no, I don't think there's anyone in particular that I'm I'm looking at. There are yeah, there are lots of different styles that you see. I'm scrolling down the Instagram feed, and you're like, oh yeah, that's quite nice. But no one in particular that I'm trying to be like or right. no, I don't think so. <laughs> so what would your advice be to somebody who is thinking, oh, I'm rubbish at this. I, I'm I'm going to give it up. Just keep trying keep trying and know your worth as well i think years ago especially with the photography i'd do so much stuff for free and then you never get any thanks for it and you know artists shouldn't work for free like there's a lot of work and a lot of time involved you should get paid for what you do and you should price it at the right price so that it, it's worth it you know i've started putting my prices up and i'm still getting the customers um and yeah, advice just keep keep practicing and keep trying, really. I think. Finally, mm -hmm. got to know. <laughs> <laughs> the, uh, so, where can people find you? What's the best place to find Rebecca at the moment? So, at the moment, I'm just on Instagram and Facebook. So, let's find a business card somewhere. Yeah. That's a really rubbish business card because it just has my logo <laughs> on. It has. <laughs> None of my actual details on. Let me find my app. So you can find me on Facebook, Rose and Grace Design and Paper, or Instagram is Rose underscore and underscore Grace underscore Design. Yeah. I'll put Super. all these on the bottom yeah. anyway, on yeah, the yeah. screen. Cool. So. And I will get my website up and running at some point. <laughs> Have you got a newsletter or anything? No. No. Okay. I should do. <laughs> You know, you've got enough stuff to put on a website. <laughs> yeah. You've, had, yeah. you've got a lot of work. <laughs> You're a busy lady. It's keeping very, it updated as well, isn't it? It's yeah. keeping yeah. it fresh and yeah. And thanks very much for your time. No, you're very welcome. Very inspiring. Thank you for coming. Very inspiring. <laughs> How much work you do. Especially you're considering you're just down the road as well. It's like <laughs> she's in Northwich. <laughs> yeah, really appreciate your time. No, you're very welcome. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Feel alright? Yeah? It wasn't too bad? Yeah. So, I hope you're as inspired as we have been by meeting Rebecca. Um, her boat portraits are just beautiful, aren't they? Yeah, fabulous. Yeah, really seems yeah. like a simple idea, but the level of detail and accuracy yeah. just makes them really pop. They're amazing. Yeah, uber classy as well. I really liked the, the overall effect of them. Yeah, they remind me of like scale models as a kid got something about that about them beautifully graphic so that's it apart from announcing the winner of the art competition so the prompt was spring and the winner is Benita Murphy with her amazing crocheted wreath called spring yeah it's fab yeah it's um loads going on I'll show you a picture so we've got hedgehogs, we've got daffodils, we've got clouds, we've got rain. What else Broccoli, we've got? Bunnies. Chicks. Uh, it's just amazing. She's been a busy lady. Yeah. Yeah, it's absolutely brilliant. Thank uh, you very much. A well worthy winner. And so yeah, any creative types, make sure you get involved in this month's 
which is birds birds just a caveat shell cannot include any pigeons <laughs> in this prompt because she's just brought out a range of cards yeah i've become slightly obsessed with birds lately so that's why the, the themes come about um and especially it's all about you i know <laughs> and especially pigeons um that iridescent breast love it um so yes that's why we've got the bird theme yeah so whatever you want whatever medium usual rules apply and the closing date for entries for this month's art competition is the 20th of June. So, that's it. Thanks again to Rebecca to yeah. actually sit down and find out a bit of a story and the fact that, like uh, Sophia, the COVID lockdown made her rethink, adapt, and crikey, yeah, she succeed. Leap. Yeah, and I was really impressed with how productive she was. Yeah. She was a steam train. Yeah, very impressive. Yeah, so um, let us know what you think in the comments. We haven't been around li lately. We've been celebrating our anniversary in Wales. Yeah, two years. I've uh, survived. Yeah, our wedding anniversary, I should say. <laughs> um, yeah, and we've just like taken a step back. And finally, summer's here, so we're going to go sit on the pontoon because everybody's left the marina and <laughs> Marina's, enjoy yes. a beer and watch the sunset go now yes so happy bank holiday everybody yeah happy bank enjoy. holiday um luckily no rain yet Ooh. it's been that good i've even got my sunglasses out and my flip-flops are now out Ooh. show them babs show them i don't want to scare anyone with my troll's feet trolley feet <laughs> don't need that any bank holiday money do you take care Love yourself. And stay afloat. Bye-bye. <laughs>